Hello and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to do a video on Betaflight failing to connect while flashing the firmware on your um, flight controller board. So you get a flight controller board, you can connect to it because it has Betaflight on it, but you cannot update the firmware. What happens is it'll say failed up here, failed to open port or just failed for whatever reason. What's going on there is your drivers are not set up correctly. And so what you have to do is download these three links right here. This, this driver here, this driver here, and this program right here. This is the DFU flashing program right here. So you want to download these three and then open them up. Okay, the first one you want to download is this one right here. Okay, you go to this link. You don't need this one here, just this one. Click on this, download it. It is a zip file, so you want, once it's downloaded, you want to unzip it and then run the exe file that is in the zip. And then once that driver is installed, you go on to the next driver. Okay, this will be the next driver that you will do. This is the STM32 virtual COM port driver. This one's a little bit odd. You have to click on this link right here, get software. It's going to bring up a user agreement. You have to accept the user agreement. And then it'll have this pop up here. You have to put your first name, last name, and email in here. It wants a valid email address. Um, I have a junk email address account for anyone who forces me to put my email in there to send me spam and other garbage. Um, so I just put Ted Friendly and then I put my uh, junk email account in here. If you don't have a junk email account, it's fine. Just put your regular email account in here. The thing is, is when you are waiting for the email, make sure to check your trash files, your spam file, your spam box, your trash box, everywhere. Because mine, mine ended up in the trash box, so which is unusual. But that's that's where it ended up. And once you find the email, it usually you you will usually get it within 10 minutes. Once you find it, there is a download link in that email click on that it'll take you to the download page depending on your browser and how it's set up it will either autom start automatically saving or it'll ask you where you want it where you want to save it to okay once you downloaded the other two drivers and you have installed them go ahead and restart your machine um, once your machine has been restarted, then plug in your flight controller and put it into hold the button or jumper pads or whatever you need to do to get it into bootloader mode. Once it's in bootloader mode, you want to open up this program right here. And then you want to go to list all devices. And with list all devices, you should find your flight controller. If it only says, if it does not say bootloader behind your flight controller, then do not select this, okay? You, it has to say bootloader behind it. If it does not, then once again, restart your machine. Make, make sure that your your FC is has a solid red light. Make sure that it is actually in bootloader mode. Okay. Okay, once you have the flight controller plugged in, um, you're in bootloader mode, solid red light. This is this is what it should look like. It should say STM32 bootloader. Once you see that, that's what you want to update. So this is correct here this is correct here and then click on this to reinstall the driver at that point you should be able to update the firmware on your flight controller through beta flight okay 
once you're back into beta flight your firmware flasher um, you should be able to connect you shouldn't have any errors up here you want to load the, the firmware I'm assuming that you downloaded the, the proper firmware for your flight controller this would be mine right here this is 3.2 the latest build so from this drop down you want to select what you're trying to update you know the, the the proper hex file for your flight controller you want no reboot sequence on full chip erase on uh, manual baud rate 15,200 and if it doesn't matter if it show unstable releases it doesn't matter and then you flash the firmware you should get no error messages down here it should just continue to go until it's done and then you, after it's done you want to it'll reboot itself but you still want to unplug the USB um, and then plug it right back in and you should be able to connect at that point and there you go so thank you for watching I'm hoping this helps out people um, I, I know that when people get new boards sometimes they connect and sometimes they do not connect for firmware update so thank you for watching and please leave a thumbs up if you like this video